One day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. Out of your vulnerabilities will come your strength. Analogies, it is true, decide nothing, but they can make one feel more at home. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. Before you diagnose yourself with depression or low self-esteem, first make sure that you are not, in fact, just surrounded by unpleasant people. Just as no one can be forced into belief, so no one can be forced into unbelief. Flowers are restful to look at. They have neither emotions nor conflicts. The only person with whom you have to compare yourself is you in the past. A man should not strive to eliminate his complexes but to get into accord with them, they are legitimately what directs his conduct in the world. Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. There is a powerful force within us, an unilluminated part of the mind, separate from the conscious mind that is constantly at work molding our thought, feelings, and actions. From error to error, one discovers the entire truth. When making a decision of minor importance, I have always found it advantageous to consider all the pros and cons. Dreams are often most profound when they seem the most crazy. Most people do not really want freedom, because freedom involves responsibility, and most people are frightened of responsibility. When one does not have what one wants, one must want what one has. I suppose that romantic love was invented as a brilliant means of seduction. If you don't like a person it's because they remind you of something you don't like about yourself. We choose not randomly each other. We meet only those who already exist in our subconscious. The liberty of the individual is no gift of civilization. It was greatest before there was any civilization. We know less about the sexual life of little girls than of boys. But we need not feel ashamed of this distinction, after all, the sexual life of adult women is a dark continent for psychology. Human life should not be considered as the proper material for wild experiments. I cannot think of any need in childhood as strong as the need for a father's protection. Psychoanalysis is in essence a cure through love. Words and magic were in the beginning one and the same thing, and even today words retain much of their magical power. We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love.
The interpretation of dreams is the royal road to a knowledge of the unconscious activities of the mind. The mind is like an iceberg, it floats with one-seventh of its bulk above water. What is common in all these dreams is obvious. They completely satisfy wishes excited during the day which remain unrealized. They are simply an undisguisedly realizations of wishes. Neurosis is no excuse for bad manners. The primitive stages can always be re-established, the primitive mind is, in the fullest meaning of the word, imperishable. Maturity is the ability to postpone gratification. Children are completely egoistic, they feel their needs intensely and strive ruthlessly to satisfy them. How bold one gets when one is sure of being loved. The dream is the liberation of the spirit from the pressure of external nature, a detachment of the soul from the fetters of matter. Love and work are the cornerstones of our humanness. A man who has been the indisputable favorite of his mother keeps for life the feeling of a conqueror. No one who shares a delusion ever recognizes it as such. The challenge of leadership is to be strong, but not rude, be kind, but not weak, be bold, but not bully, be thoughtful, but not lazy, be humble, but not timid, be proud, but not arrogant, have humor, but without folly. When I am criticized, I can defend myself, but I'm powerless against the praise. Whoever loves becomes humble. Those who love have, so to speak, pawned a part of their narcissism.